This video is sponsored by Christoph Frey. For excellent low poly horror games, check the link in the description below for some of his works. Previously on Into a Dream. What have I done? Please! I... No! Not now! And so the journey continues. What's up, y'all? Boogie Knight here, and welcome back to Into a Dream. You may notice we are in a different area right now, so let me just quickly bring you up to speed. Um, in the last attempted episode, um, after a conversation with Luke, I was still in limbo. I had tried various ways to try and trigger this part um, to no avail. Um, it even got to the point after 45 minutes of me running around, redoing the ghost puzzle over and over again, getting nowhere. Uh, I consulted a playthrough and it looked like they were able to overcome the puzzle, so I pretty much discovered it was a game-breaking bug. Um, I emailed the developer, um, FFT, and he was kind enough to give me a workaround, and as I'm recording this, um, he has actually uploaded a patch to Steam. So, you didn't lose anything, because this area that we're in right now is what happens after the conversation with Luke, and you go back to the right. Um, so, anyways, so when we last left off John, a lot of things have happened that we kind of have discovered what led to the downfall of Luke. Um, from And it kind of all goes back to his mother getting sick, and then possibly Anne uh, having the same uh, disease that the grandmother had, so it's, it seems like a generation-skipping uh, malady. Um, and now we are still in limbo, but this more looks more like Elysium. But one thing we need to remember is this is still allegedly a dreamscape. We are still allegedly inside Luke's head. The reason I keep saying allegedly is because I still don't know what's going on with John and Luke, if there's any similarities and whatnot. But anyways, let's get back to this because I'm so thankful. Once again, a very big thank you to FFT for sending me the work right as well as being cognizant and kind enough to respond quickly and letting me know about the patch because I want everybody to be able to experience this and not just have that one game-breaking bug. So it looks like we're back in the forest from the beginning. Um, and I do apologize if there's kind of outside noise. It's a beautiful night out. Oh. There she is. Man. Who's that? Oh, what the hell? No pun intended. Anne Williams. <clears throat> yes? All is ready, my dear. Great! I'm so excited! Where is uh, Dad? Your father will go on later, my dear. Your journey has already begun. It's still a long one, so we must depart <clears throat> immediately. Will he be there shortly? I don't think you'll even notice time passing by. Great! Does my grandma know I'm coming? <clears throat> she knows. Let's get going, then! <clears throat> Wait! Hey! Who is this? <coughs> it's me, Anne! My sweet Annie! Dad, you came after all! Luke Williams, how did you get here? It <clears throat> is not yet your... No! It is! There was a mistake, look! A mistake? Yes, it's me and not her who is supposed to go now. Look at the papers. Look at them. Daddy, what's wrong? Oh, Luke. It, it is not yet your time to see Grandma, Annie. But I want to, Dad. I miss her so much. And she misses you too, Annie. But you're not supposed to see her yet. Not yet. Luke Williams? Yes. You are correct. There must have been an error, somehow. We truly are very sorry. Anne, my dear, I can't keep you waiting here any longer. Your trip has been postponed. But I want to go. Daddy! 
You'll be fine, Anne. I love you. Don't you ever forget that. She has already returned, Luke. As for you, your path awaits you. It is time to take the next step. Yes. It is time to take the next step. I don't like where this is going. What the? This isn't so bad. Okay, so let's just recap for a second. So, in the previous episode, before we got to Limbo, we saw a noose, we saw the Reaper. Is Luke catatonic because of an attempted thing? I'm, I'm not going to say it. I mean, I'm not going to get demonetized, but given situations on YouTube right now, there might be some takedowns. Um... I don't know. I mean, we're once again, we're still in Luke's head. So this is what I'm, I'm trying to parse through, is we're still inside... Let's flip that over for a second. Is we're still inside Luke's mind, allegedly. But this is all just taking a new form. And this is just brilliant. I absolutely love this game. I think... It goes aside, I mean, once again, I talked a little bit in the demo about how I... This, I wish it would... Or, mental health is more than just kind of an inception like snatch and grab but this kind of paints the steps of like grief and other mental and so and uh, emotional maladies and just in a more of a raw form when you think about it and the silhouette style i mean once again i can't say enough good things about this game like the only thing that would really put a burn in my saddle is if it's like ends with like a Shyamalan what a twist luke there they are Gabriel? Luke, we have arrived. I welcome you to eternity. Thank you for believing in me. It is not a question of belief. Those who have to come will come. One can seek to trick whoever he wants. His family, his friends, his doctor, and even himself. Uh -oh. But one cannot call it destiny. <laughs> what? What is this? No, no. Where am I? We can't be misled, Luke. You fooled far too many people. But you cannot fool sickness nor health. You lied to us, Luke. You deserve neither forgiveness nor peace. I... I'm sorry. I, I just wanted... <laughs> she belongs to us now. No, you can't. You can't take her away from us. She doesn't deserve to go. You're right, she doesn't. But it is not in our power to make that call, neither in yours. Why didn't you leave us alone, Luke? She would be on her way to peace, not here. Now, you'll be here, locked forever in eternal suffering, watching her slowly fade until the last bond to her material life is gone, and you will never see her again. No, please! She has so much to live for, so much. Please, she's just an innocent little girl. It was you who meddled. I washed my hands of her feet. Look, it is time. No! <laughs> Fuck! He vaporized it. Where? My first critique of the game, that demon, a little bit gauche, a little bit cartoony, almost a little bit like, um, what was that old movie, Fantasia, um, but, sorry, I saw my eye, um, I do like this, I do appreciate this hellscape, um, I, once again, I feel like now we're really getting into the root Whoopsie warning. I feel like we're getting to the root of um, Luke's depression. Like, this hellscape we're in now is his inner demons personified. Do you have a hand popping out? You got fire and brimstone. Oh, God. Oh, 
Back to turn attack? <laughs> That's not Luke. Michael? Dr. Manson! Oh. What are you doing here? You must hurry. There is no time. Wait! What are you... Where Dr. are Dr. Manson, that's the one Luke. from the beginning! Anne, where are they? They're on the other side of this cave. And there's little time to save them. You must hurry. But this is a dead end! I can help you lift this rock. But then the path is yours to take. Hurry! Wait a second, wait done. a second. Now go before it's too late. You're the only one who can save them now. Was it? Maybe this was Dr. Benson was the one we talked to on the phone in the first begin in the beginning of this game. Hello? You will never get there in time. She is ours, and there's nothing you can do. See you on the other side. Is a little bit cheeky. Come on, Firefly, stay with me, y'all. Come on, you are a platformer. Platforming since the days of Atari and Nintendo. Bring on home. Firefly, stay with me. You and me, we're a team. I don't know if this is timing, but... Oh, this is so cool. It's like with a waterfall from the beginning again. So much blood. Stay with me, fireflies. That'd be nice. Oh, let me just check something really quickly. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Check it out. It's the old uh, house in the beginning. Tools. We got a stick. So we're gonna light a torch, maybe? Oh, we probably have to use this to burn through the brambles, I bet. Um, uh, fireflies, you wanna help me light me up here? So, let's see if we can find a torch. Or fire, or something. I think we saw something back here. No, we can't go that way. Do some button mashing real quick. Fireflies, you wanna you wanna help me out here? No? Okay, that's cool. Oh, it's an axe. I thought it was like we we're gonna like burn it down or something. It was upside down. Old swing. Let's actually, let's run back really to the toolbox and see if there's other tools we can pick up just in case. Okay, toolbox is empty. So that's Anne's old swing. I'm sorry, but if that thing is a oh this again. We're really just like reliving those worst times now. Oh, there's the lighthouse. I have to put an epilepsy warning in this one. Yeah, so the old propane container. Generator. Oh, we got a key. Oh, to the White House. Or not. Oh, for the house. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the swing. So now we go in the house. There's probably something in the snag. Show me. It was you. Whoa. It was your fault. Rufus? You murdered her. 
But that's the it was you. It's all your fault. Throw away. You murdered them. It was you. Okay. Um, it was you. It was your fault. It was you. It was your fault. Uh, hang on. You murdered her. It was you. Um. It was your fault. You murdered her. It's all oh, keep. Fault. Okay. Keep versus throw away. I probably want to have pictures of the family. It was you. It was you. It was your fault. It was you. It was your fault. It was your fault. You murdered her. It was you. It was your fault. Um, hang on. You murdered her. Oh wait, hang on. Um, these all have the things on them. Th these have like stars on them. It was you. It was you. It was you. You murdered her. Unless. It was you. It was your fault. Um. You murdered her. It's all your fault. Yes, I know. One, three, three. I'm looking for Will of the Wisps? Throw away. Okay, so we can't leave. Um. It was you. Yes, I know. Thank you. It was your fault. You murdered her. It's all your fault. Let's move stuff around for a second. Um, you murdered her. It was you. It was you. It was your fault. It was you. It was your fault. Because of this picture. You murdered her. It was you. It was your fault. I think we're looking for stuff of color. You murdered her. It's all your fault. You murdered her. It was you. Um. It was you. It was your fault. Oh, so there's two photos we can pitch and then. It was your fault. You murdered her. It was you. It was your fault. You murdered her. It's all your fault. You murdered her. What are you doing? It was you. It was you. It was your fault. It was you. Um. It was your fault. What are we looking for? You murdered her. I mean, it, it was, was you. It's saying that's over and over again. It was your fault. You murdered her. It's all your fault. Um. You murdered her. It was you. It was you. It was, you. It was your fault. It was you. You know what I bet? Hang on. I bet the family photos get dumped. And Luke is the only one that sticks around. You murdered her. It was you. It was you. It was your fault. So three, three, and one. You murdered her. Unless it's all your fault. You murdered her. It was you. It was you. It was your fault. We're looking for the lighthouse. That's obvious. It was you. It was okay. So with that being said, I will just see you guys in a second. You murdered her. You murdered her. It was you. 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 It was
And finally, this took about 15 minutes of me running around. Put that back over, stop bothering me. But I was just, I couldn't even get to tell you. Um, my guess is that since these had to do with the lighthouse, it was just a lot of, it was a lucky guess. But still, that sucked. This just got random. I literally was, I literally had to brute force it. So if I missed something, well, I, so I figured it out regardless. Uh, anyways, onwards and upwards. We have to save everybody. See? Even the thunder agrees with me. Now oh, the lighthouse is on our side. Oh, hang on. Oh, we can go in. Okay, now we need, probably need this to power something. Aha! And up the mountain we go! Bridge Hospital. Oh, that's the wedding. Anne's wedding. Surgery. Anne? Okay, so she's trapped. Gave her something. Anne? Talk to me? behind here. No, you can't. You can't take her away from us. She doesn't deserve it. No, please. No, no, run, John. She has so much to live for. So much. There's a damn phone again. No, you can't. You can't take her away from us. She doesn't Found him, Rita. You, you, you did? Great. Rita, I took him to the vet Ugh, straight away. Rufus. Oh no! Look what did he? There was nothing they could do. No, no, no. I'm sorry, Rita. What are we going to say to Annie about this? I... I don't know. Fuck, Luke. First your mother, then you, and now... How... How is she, Rita? She... 
Oh. She misses you, Luke. So this is when they're separated. How's her health? How's her health? She's still going to the psychologist two times a week. I see. Luke, what, um, what about yours? Holding up. Good. I should get back home. I need to tell Anne about... Shit. She's going to be devastated. Did you leave him at the vet? We need to have a funeral for him. Yes, I... I'll get him tomorrow. Just give me the address and I'll take care of it. Rita. Mum. What the? Did you find him? Did you? Anne, dear, I told you to stay home. I couldn't, Mum. I was so worried. D Dad, is that you? Did you find him? Hi, Annie. I, I found Rufus, sweetheart. He... He got trapped under a boulder and it fell on him. What? What does that mean? I took him to a vet straight away, but there was nothing they could do. So we, Ru well. Rufus? Did he? Did he? No, no, no! This is your fault, Dad. It's your fault. Dear. It was your responsibility to take care there of him. It is. It was this you. wouldn't have happened if you were there for him. This wouldn't have happened if you were here. Annie. I don't ever want to see you again. I hate you. Anne. I'm sorry, Anne. The court is now in session. The defendant shall state his full name for the record. Luke Williams. Luke Williams, you are the father of Anne Williams, and your wife is Rita Williams. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. You are hereby informed that anything you say or have not said may be held against you in this court. Let us now begin the proceedings. Let's read an Anne up there, you I have think. been accused of withholding vital medical information from those entitled oh, to Oh, never mind. And furthermore, you are accused of the murder of your daughter, Anne Williams. Do you, Luke Williams, plead guilty to these charges? In the absence of a clear guilty plea, this case now goes to trial. Very well. The prosecution may cross-examine the accused. Thank you, Your Honor. Is it true, Mr. Luke Williams, that your daughter, Anne Williams, has a terminal disease? Yes, ma'am. Is it true that this disease is only transmitted genetically? Yes, ma'am. Is it true that it is you who carries the genetic mutation that causes the disease, albeit it didn't affect you? Yes, it is true. Are you admitting that it was due to your actions, and your actions solely, that your daughter, Anne Williams, is facing an imminent premature death? I, I didn't intend to do it. I love her. I love her so much. It was meant for me. I should have got it and died. The defendant shall only answer to the point of the question he has been asked, and no more. Thank you, Your Honor. I will repeat. Mr. Luke Williams, I put it to you that your actions and your actions alone have been responsible for your daughter's condition. Do you agree? I... Yes, I do. Okay. Is it also true that you tampered with a medical document in order to contain this information that you did not confide even in your wife, Rita Williams? who has the exact same rights as yourself of a guardian charged with the well-being and upbringing of your daughter. I tried to cure her. I did all I could. Silence! I will not warn you again, Mr. Williams. Is it true? Yes. 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 It is true. The prosecution rests in its case. Very well. Is the jury ready to bring its verdict? 
Yes, Your Honour. We, the jury, from the acts of information, tampering and deliberate filicide, pronounce Luke Williams guilty. It was you. You murdered my angel. You murdered her. The accused has been convicted. This court declares his life forfeit. Luke Williams, your fate lies in the hands of the people you have wronged. We have no other choice than to condemn you to death. I know. John, now it's time to step in. Very well. The gibbet is at your disposal, Mr. Williams. I... I need a moment. In your own time, Mr. Williams. No, Luke. No! That's not the way out! Can you hear me? It wasn't you! They don't blame you! They need you! Do you hear me? Fuck, he can't hear me! No! Don't do this! John? Hang on. Do it. Up, up, ha, ha, ha. Ugh, Gwen's breath. The lantern be nice, there we go. Oh, hang on. Hello? Michael? Luke? Reverend? Oh. What are you doing here? Hello. I came down for the ceremony of Mr. Williams, but no one else came. I should have imagined. The man that has done what he did was bound to die alone. No, he's not dead. Listen, you can hear his heartbeat. I'm sorry. He has already been buried. We're not done yet. There is nothing you can do for him now. No, no! His heart, can't you hear his heart beating? He's not dead, he's still here with us. I'm sorry. No! No! This light, this light proves he's still alive. He's fighting, he's fighting. There has to be something alive behind all this darkness. There has to, and I'll find it. You're too late. No! Run, John! John, I admire your determination. This, that's a big point of this game. Where is she, Luke? Killed her. You killed her. I want to see my big girl. Where is she? We're not done yet. Go. She's so beautiful, Rita. Put the Our little hand. Are you crying? What, what's wrong, love? I love you so very much. You know that, right? Rita, I love you too. Thank you for being there, Luke. Always. Not only through the good, but through my anger, my fears, my doubts. Look at us now. Look at... 
And we're partners, Rita. And we'll be forever. I'll be there for you. And for her. No matter what. And together we will overcome everything. I know we will, love. Oh, huh, okay. Let's say I'm noticing a similar pattern. No one likes me. Nobody plays with me. I have no friends. Please, leave me alone. Sorry. I've been expecting a work email all day. So, we were able to help. Oh, this is probably where you get the doll for Anne, so now we're kind of doing a repentance thing. Find the doll, John. Find the doll. There it is. Uh-huh. Now we turn back into Luke. Leave me a... Daddy? I found Joanne, sweetheart. Jo... Joanne? Who, who is she? An old doll that belonged to Grandma. Even I played with her when I was very little, until I first went to school. Today I remembered that she might have still been with us in the attic, so I went looking for her. I thought you might like her, you know? She has some special powers. Special powers? Yes. Whenever you hold her and you close your eyes, there's an explosion of light, a sense of joy and happiness. Why don't I feel happy now, Daddy? What's wrong, sweetheart? No other kid plays with me in school. I don't know why. I... I feel lonely. Sweetheart, I also felt very lonely at times, you know? It took me some years to have real friends. You're just saying that, Daddy. It's true. I even created an imaginary friend, all in my mind. How we played together all the time. One day, however, I met this guy at school and we became inseparable. We were together all the time. Wait. And after some time, we, we even started a company. Oh, you're talking about Uncle Michael, aren't you? imaginary friend John I Stevens? Am. What I'm saying is, uh, you are special, Annie. Those who don't see it, well, that's their problem. There will be plenty of people who'd love to call you their friends. Just, just don't stop being who you are and your future will be anything but lonely. I promise. I have the best parents in the world, you know, Dad. Oh, sweetheart, we love you more than anything in the world and I'm Sorry for not being there for you more often. I will change that, okay? Oh, I forgive you, Daddy. I know you love me. You know what? Tell me, sweetie. I am feeling happy right now. And that makes me the happiest dad in the world. Repentance. I want, yeah. John could be this imaginary friend that's pulled him out. You're here. Oops, I was always sorry. here, Luke. I left them alone, John. I was so consumed by my own pain that... God, how they must have suffered. What we did was noble, Luke. There are simply some things that we just can't control. But... Will they forgive us for leaving them? There's still a long road ahead, but we've taken the most important step. In due time, they'll forgive us. And even though we may not change how it all ends, we can still be there to support, to nurture, and to love until it does. I love them so very much, John. I know you do. I love them too. You saved me. You saved yourself, and now it's time to return. To those who you love, to those who love you. Yes. It is time to return.
Luke Williams woke up in a in hospital. He started psychotherapy and agreed to be medicated for his depression. For the first time in over a year, Luke reached out to Rita and finally told her about Anne. Although not initially, Rita forgave him. Together, they had the idea of sharing the investigation's full data in the public domain. <clears throat> Luke also contacted Michael. After the company was sold, he invested the money in a new project about AI and human-machine interaction that really took off. Upon hearing his friend, Michael created a fund to research into Anne's disease. Rita told Anne about her condition and was truthful about all that Luke had done. Slowly, Luke was allowed back into their lives. Luke and Anne danced together at her high school prom. Anne's first symptoms of the disease manifested soon after. After consulting multiple doctors, the prognosis was unanimous. Best case scenario, she would live for only six to seven more years. That's why she got married at a young age. An Australian medical research group that applied for Michael's Fund claimed that they had reached a breakthrough discovery <coughs> regarding the cause of the disease. They stated that a cure could be ready in human trials in five to ten years. <coughs> Into a dream. And that was it. That was into a dream. That was overwhelming. I really enjoyed it. I, I truly did. I feel like it had so much to offer. Did I feel like towards the end, during kind of the, the hellscape area, it felt a little bit rushed and a little bit vague. But I see where the developer was getting into it with the deepest reaches of your depression, of when you feel completely lost and ready to just give it all up. This game spoke to me very, very much. And I don't really know how to describe it, y'all. It really kind of makes me makes one think about their own mental and emotional well-being and how do you project it? How do you sense it? I like how they could put this escape for every little instance and then always in the background that it was you, it was you, it was you. And I'm relieved that even though we don't really know who John is, he develops an emotion that will tie to Luke and to Rita and to Anne and to Rufus and that just, it just backs up the fact there are people out there that care about people, whether you know them well or not. So I've said this in a few other episodes, I'm going to repeat myself. If you are in a dark place, please talk to somebody. Don't hide it. Don't be like Luke. Don't bottle it up. Don't conceal it. This is something I have to deal with. And I'm learning. So as I said before, links will be in the description below to various resources you can utilize. But a very, very big thank you to the developer FFT Games for creating this masterpiece. It was brilliant. So thank you. And I hope y'all enjoyed this game. Um, let me know what you guys think. What worked, what didn't work. Let me know. And while you're at it, if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. It helps me know what works and what doesn't work. Um, and of course, a big thank you to Christoph Frey for being a sponsor of the Boogie Night Project. If you like low-poly horror games and emphasis on character development, ambience, fear factor, plot, check them out. Links in the description below as well. I guarantee you won't be let down. So with that being said, before I call it a night, if you like the Boogie Night Project and you want to find out more, I do have a Twitter page as well as a public Discord channel. Links to both those are in the description below as well as a link to my temporarily defunct Twitch page. And hey, this would not be possible without the help of my incredibly attractive patron, Cabal. You'll see the names flying by. If you do want to do a little bit more for um, the Boogie Night Project, like I say, I do have a Patreon where for as little as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive content, such as the patron-only section of my Discord and patron-exclusive uploads that go up every Saturday. And I am doing patron requests. And just know that all... Um, assets and investments go towards giving me a better computer and better equipment so I can in turn give you a better experience. So once again, thank you guys so very much for joining me on this journey. 
and I'll catch you on the flip side, alright? Peace.